interacting with someone who's done so much is always very, very valuable. and nobody really notices this and a lot of people try to figure out from first principles um, how Stack Overflow came out of nowhere in 2008 to become successful and the answer is that it didn't. I spent eight years writing this blog called Dolan Software with a 15 point font that caused a lot of people to read it and so on 2008 I had a big audience of hundreds of thousands of people and then I said go look at that and they all went there on the same day at the same minute and they started typing their questions but they were the other people were there and so the other people started answering their questions and if I didn't have it was actually technically 30,000 people that came to Stack Overflow on the first day according to Google Analytics and um, you know within hours people started getting answers within minutes and everybody said oh my god you get answers here in minutes this is insane this is so good and so they came back and we never really went down from that. If I had started that from a basis of, uh, if I had started that in 2004 when I had you know, 20,000 people on my blog and I could have gotten 4,000 of them to Stack Overflow, it may not have been enough critical mass. It may have taken uh, much longer. It's not about user numbers, it's not about how much money you raise to get successful. In my mind, there's um, you need to have team. Team is the absolute basis. The people have to be right. If you don't have the right people, forget about it. Process comes later. The product has to make sense. It has to be something that people want. I'm speaking from, from the consumer side or from the enterprise side. If you're not building something people want, you're wasting your time. So validate early, validate very quickly, fail very quickly, measure as much as you can and work your ass off.